standing here in minus 20 degrees in Luleå, northern Sweden, for far too close to the Arctic, the polar circle, where the northern light is and where the sun sets at one o'clock. <laughs> yes, I want to tell you this. Don't let anyone go lonely this Christmas, no matter what. Now, I know that in a time of increasing polarization, it's so easy to say, hey, these people are not like me. They are too radical. They are too different. Their policies, their politics is too different from the politics that I support. But let me tell you the art of acceptance. Let me tell you the art of making peace. We live in a world that is getting increasingly polarized, and our act of uh, isolating one another, our act of separating each other from one another, is constantly fueling a bad circle. The more lonely we become, the more extreme we become. The more separated we are, the more different we become. We are creating opposites. We are creating radical tendencies. The radicalization in others is fueled by the radicalization in ourselves. And we might not recognize it, but we are driving ourselves insane. We are driving ourselves mad with anger, with angst, with stress. Stress over things that often could be solved by a simple conversation. In times of uh, Christmas and in times of a long dragged out lockdown, we're all sitting by our own dinner tables. Far too many are sitting by themselves. Far too many are sitting without anyone. Far too many are sitting all alone. So can we spare a thought for those people? Can we think about all those that are alone? Can we think about and send a message to everyone that we know that is alone? Can we send a message? Can we reach out to everyone that we know that is and has become isolated? Can we send a message? Can we send a thought? Can we send positive regards? Can we schedule in a call to meet, to talk? I know the antidote to polarization is connection. It always has been, it always will be. I know what will prolong this turf war between the left and right is the arrogance that we think that our side has it right. We have to do something to change the circle, and I think it has to start with ourselves. We have to be prepared to be and to meet other people with humility, knowing that we don't know the answer. And I know that is difficult in a time with such absolute truths. Rational thought trains you to think that you have the answer to every question. Science can confirm and prove everything that you do. Everything you do is backed up by logical principle. And so anyone that is and disregards this logic is and can only be regarded as insane, crazy, mad. But perhaps our logic doesn't have all the answers. Perhaps the science that we stand on isn't the full science. Perhaps the knowledge that we have is not the entire scope of human knowledge. Perhaps we are missing something. The only way to find out is to meet those with whom that you disagree. <laughs>